I'm Deep, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to identify an appropriate DOM selector or XPath to use in Amazon CloudWatch Canary GUI workflow builder and how to use the browser to copy and paste that value in the CloudWatch console. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the CloudWatch console. Choose the region where you want to create the canary. For this demonstration, I will use US East 1. Then from the left navigation pane under application monitoring, select synthetics canaries. The page shows all the canaries under this account in the selected region. Choose the create canary button. Choose the GUI workflow builder option. Enter the canary name and application or endpoint URL. For this demonstration, to show how to copy DOM selectors for the GUI workflow builder, I will use the AWS Repost web page. You can similarly create the workflow for the website or web page that you want to monitor using Canary. Copy the selector for the questions tab. Add an action in the GUI workflow builder to verify that it exists before clicking the question tab. The verify selector action verifies whether the element in the page is loaded before the click with navigation action. Select the click with navigation action and enter the selector in the text box after copying and pasting the selector from above. Copy the selector for the filter questions search box. Add an action in the GUI workflow builder to verify that it exists before clicking the filter questions text box. Then create the action for typing the text on filter questions text box. For that, I will copy the selector and create an input text action and type synthetic canary in the search box. We will then verify the search result exists. So we will copy the selector for pagination and use it to verify. Add the verify selector action and paste the pagination selector in the questions tab in repost. Go ahead and create a canary with all other configuration settings as the default. Change these settings when you create your own canary to fit your use case. So now you have seen how to identify the DOM selectors using a browser and how to use them to create a GUI workflow builder. This knowledge can help you create a proper workflow with the correct DOM selectors. You can also copy the XPath and use them similarly. Note that if you select an incorrect DOM element when creating a canary with the GUI workflow builder, you might encounter one of the following errors. Error node is either not visible or not an HTML element. No test result return error navigation failed because browser has disconnected. Timeout error waiting for selector. Timeout error waiting for XPath. You can fix the error by using proper selectors in the script by editing the script or recreating a new script after deleting the previous script. Let's see how to edit an existing script. Navigate to Synthetix Canaries from the left navigation pane under Application Monitoring in the CloudWatch console. Click on the canary name. Choose the Configuration tab, select the Actions button, and then choose Edit. Navigate to the Script Editor 
and then look for the steps with selectors. Note that you must edit the selector in the script editor. For example, here is the code line for the input text action. Replace the selector with the correct selector. For example, we want to change the search text for the input text action and change it to the lambda instead of synthetic scanner. For that, I will navigate to that input text action in the script and replace synthetic canary to lambda and then update the canary. This is how you can edit the selector in script for any listed errors in the associated knowledge center article for the canary created with the incorrect dome selector. Identify an appropriate dome selector or XPath to use in CloudWatch Canary GUI workflow builder and use a browser to copy and paste those values in the CloudWatch console. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.